Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, it's for sale. I need your help. We're trying to get this guy sold. I'm going to give you a full boat walkthrough. Uh, but yeah, it's time to find a new home for the 2023 Skeeter FXR20. The boat has been good to me. Uh, we had five top 21s out of six events and a win. So if you want the winning boat that's got some good luck charm, good luck mojo going on, it is for sale. Uh, so I'm going to give you a full walkthrough. Let's check this thing out. One of the first things that you can notice is it's got the full Bridgeford wrap on it. But not only is it a full Bridgeford wrap, what I mean by that is the trailer fenders are completely wrapped. You can see we wrap right over the Skeeter. The inside of the boat is almost entirely wrapped as well. So everything, it is filthy right now, guys. But I'll tell you what, when this wrap comes off, so all of this, all the sides, this is all wrapped. When all of that comes out, the only thing that's not wrapped is that little bit right under the drive, the steering wheel. But when everything comes out, it smells like a brand new boat because I picked these up. I take them right from the dealer to uh, the boat wrap guy up in uh, Weston. So yeah, the boat is pretty much brand new sparkling when I take the wrap off. So you can see it is dirty. I have not washed it in a while, uh, but that's one of the coolest things about it. It basically is like a brand new boat. Uh, I also want to point out, so what I do with my boats is I take them back to my, my uh, dealer, the boat center in Chippewa Falls, and I have them do a complete walk through the entire boat and anything that looks like it needs to be replaced or repaired, they take care of for me so that the new owner has a perfectly good functioning boat. Um, and that's one of the nice things that I like to do for the new owner so that there's no worries. Plus I like to go through the dealer because then there's that, that level of security for both the new buyer and the new owner. Uh, or the seller and the buyer. But in this case, so you've got a brand new Lowrance Ghost. Does have some cable marks on the shaft. That's from Lake of the Ozarks where there are boat docks with cables everywhere. But it is a uh, 24 slash 36 volt Lowrance Ghost. I love these things. Comes with a active target by Lowrance. We've got four HDS-12 Lowrance live units, uh, two on the front, two on the dash. Uh, they're all mounted by ProSize Outdoors Decket mounts. So these things are rock solid. Uh, basically just completely solid mounts. These things don't move at all on me. Uh, I absolutely love those. But yeah, so the graphs, I guess if you don't want four graphs, we can we can negotiate. Everything is negotiable, I guess, as they say. Uh, but it comes stock with the graphs. And then, you know, as we come back over here to the helm, you can see we've got another Decket mount by ProSize Outdoors. And then another thing to point out, too, is it's got the full, I think it's C-Deck. I'm not sure if it is exactly the company C-Deck, but it's got the, the foam padding so it drives very quickly. Uh, it's got a hot foot down there, uh, very low hours. I guess I don't even know exactly what the hours are. I can show you. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say 102. We're at 82 hours. So 82 hours is all that the boat has on it. Not many at all. Come in the back, you've got two power pole blades. The motor is mounted by a hydraulic uh, TH Marine Atlas jack plate, if you can see that back there. Uh, back in the battery compartment area. So I did add a second starting battery. So we're running two AGM batteries to make sure I've got full power going to all my electronics. Not going to worry about starting an engine. At the same time, then I've got the power pole charge system in here. So that charges my batteries while I'm running you will have zero battery issues when it comes to power. And then over on there, we've got our power source for the trolling motor batteries. We've got three Battleborn Lithium 
uh, 12 volts. As you can see right here, these are the lithium ion phosphates. Everything is so nicely wired in this boat too. It's one thing that the boat center does so extremely well. They make sure everything is clean. We've got separate breaker systems. So you can see I can turn off right now. I've got the battery system turned off so nothing's going up to the trolling motors. So when you charge it, you don't have to worry about putting any power up to it, but everything is on separate systems. Same thing over here. We've got a whole separate fuse system for the electronics. We've got a main power switch that I just turned on so I could pull it out of the garage. Overall, the boat is in great shape. It is a beauty. I did just have a flat tire on one of my tires, so I did get a brand new tire. So one of the, we've got a brand new tire that's up here uh, for your spare. I do have some rubs on all the rims. That's one thing I do. You can see I do have some rubbing around the rims. Most of the rims all have some rubbing. This one looks pretty good. This one doesn't look like it's got much at all. Generally, it's the front tire that ends up having it. Comes with the Yamaha 250. This is the new uh, VMAX SHO. I guess it came out a year ago, but it's a new version. So yeah, this rim looks just fine. This rim, yeah, that one looks pretty good too. So it's really only the one rim that's got some scuff marks on it. Uh, Overall, guys, really clean boat. It's been such a good boat to me. It'll be tough to potentially let it go, but uh, it's time to find a new owner. And uh, I guess, you know, list price, everyone wants to know. I think I'm gonna put this up probably around like 83,000, which is ridiculous that boats are getting to this point, but this boat retail right now is well over $100,000 with all of the different electronics and stuff on it. So it's really not a bad deal. Like I said, everything is somewhat negotiable as well. Um, but I need to move it. Let's move it. We got to make room for next year's boat. Might be some surprises in store. We'll see what happens. Uh, but right now, let's find a new home for the Skeeter 2023 FXR. 20. It's a bad boat. And I'll put I'll put some pictures up uh, somewhere throughout the video so that you can see what it looks like uh, color wise because you can't obviously see right now, but it's a pretty sick looking color scheme. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope we can move this sometime relatively soon. That would be awesome. I got the new boat, the War Eagle in the garage, just so I can move this and still have a boat to fish out of. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.